Hi there, it's Cecilia Jane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make waterproof stickers. Firstly, since I'm going to be talking just a little bit in the intro, I do want to address what this thing is. This is a microphone. You guys know my basement noises if you've watched my channel. So I'm trying to use this thing and see if it'll eliminate some of the noises. Um, here is the difference in the sound quality. So hopefully it makes a difference. <laughs> Anytime I'm doing anything over the desk, I always try to use a mic. Uh, I know the audio down here always sucks and I'm sorry I'm constantly looking up things and trying to improve it but um yeah okay but with that said now let's just start going into how to make these stickers so in my tutorial how to make sticker sheets with a background that are laminated I mentioned that I would be willing to make this tutorial for anyone curious and I did get some responses and I kind of wanted to make the tutorial anyway um, again this is a video that I wanted so badly when I first kind of got into sticker creation and it's honestly been a few years of trial and error to finally get something that I'm happy with so hopefully you guys know how lucky you are to be getting this video <laughs> so firstly maybe you don't believe that they're entirely waterproof well let me show you real quickly so here's one of my stickers this is a test I always did when I was trying to search for the right products to make the stickers waterproof um, by the way this and a few other stickers will be on my Etsy shop pretty soon so go check out my Etsy shop, stay tuned, favorite, all of that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna spray it so you guys can kind of see. Yeah, I just very heavily doused it and the water is kind of beating up, which is what we want, which is good. So, and even if I kind of rub my finger on it, you can see it is still perfectly intact, which is what we want. So obviously these stickers can go on water bottles, um, even cars, I've tested them out and one's still lasting, it's been a few months, so that's good. I know as a creator making stickers, um, people are always wanting it to be waterproof so they can put it on water bottles and stuff, and I know personally if I order stickers and they're not waterproof, um, sometimes I get a little disappointed. It does depend what the sticker's for though because there are like planner stickers and things like that just for fun or like on notebooks, that's different. But these will even hold up better on things like your phone case, things like that, just because they're much more durable. So I'm going to do kind of a little mini tutorial, but probably the most important thing in this video and probably what most of you are searching for if you click this video are the products I use to make it waterproof. So the two most important things are these. Okay, so the paper is one of those two very important materials, and this is the Zicato Inkjet Vinyl Matte Paper. 15 durable and water resistant permanent sticker sheets and this is in matte and I assume if they say matte that they have shiny ones as well. I just like matte stickers and I put a shiny coat over it anyway so it doesn't really matter. I will be posting the Amazon links down below for these products. They're not even affiliate links or anything so I'm not getting anything from them. I just want to help you guys. <laughs> so and on Amazon's listing it says premium printable vinyl sticker paper for inkjet and laser printer so it probably does work for laser printers. Anyway, this is $17.97 for 15 sheets, which honestly, I know what you're thinking, that's pretty darn expensive. And when I'm doing stickers that aren't waterproof, um, I use, like, I get something that's like 100 sheets for like, I think it's like 20 bucks. I'll put it right here. Um, but these are especially for water. Sorry, I got my phone up. I'm like referencing it. But um, these are specifically for like waterproof stickers. So the thing is, if you just print on these, they will be decently waterproof, but not entirely. But even the instructions on this say at the end to spray with a UV resistant clear coat. So, and then the second product is Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating. And this is what it looks like. And again, I assume since it says gloss up here, I'm assuming they have a matte version. But uh, honestly, these dry pretty matte, especially like with how much... I use, I don't go too, too crazy on it. Um, you don't need too much, which is nice. I think you could even find it at like, maybe like a craft store or like a home improvement store or something. So yeah, basically with this combination, you should be pretty much foolproof. Um, I don't want to guarantee that though, because everyone's printer is different. I have the Epson XP 960, um, and I do use Epson inks. Um, in the past, I've tried to like go the cheaper route and like, use inks that were like more affordable but it just ended up always clogging my printer and I'd have issues so I was like you know what? I'm done I'm just paying the full price for the inks um, so that's what I'm using um, I honestly feel like it should be good with most printers um, I haven't tested on other printers but I think if you are 
wanting some waterproof stickers, it's definitely worth the expense to get these two products. So those are basically the two products that are super crucial to making the stickers waterproof. Okay, so now we're going to be jumping into kind of like the tutorial portion of this video. It is going to be for people with a Cricut, but if you do not have a Cricut, you're going to be following similar steps, um, just obviously not doing the Cricut portion. Okay guys, so first thing first is to design your stickers, obviously. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth with this because I feel like most of you guys know what you're doing. So I'm actually designing these stickers for this month's Patreon and my theme is Beatles. Hey guys, it is Future Cecilia. I just want to quickly pop in and say that if it is still the month of June and you're interested in getting these shiny metallic waterproof Beatles stickers, then head on over to my Patreon, there will be a link in the description, it's only $5 a month and you're helping me immensely and I also send everything out in super cute packages and decorate them and you get some other little goodies as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested. So I'm in Procreate, we got some different beetle designs that I'm going to be putting some like metallic paint on. Um, so basically I have all my stickers different layers, um, if you're just doing one design you're just going to have it on one layer and then I'm going to send it over to Photoshop in a PSD file, that way it shows all of its layers on Photoshop and then we'll jump on over to the computer. Okay guys, so we are in Photoshop right now, I brought the file over just by email. So I sent it over in a PSD which sometimes it won't send it over. The reason it's sent over so easily this time was just because I have three layers. So if you're working with a sticker that has multiple different layers, you're just going to want to combine all layers before you send it over on a PSD and that will help to make it send over efficiently. <laughs> okay, so we have all of our different designs, three different beetles. So before I put them on a Cricut size sheet, I'm going to just add a stroke to every single one. So basically what you do is just double click the layer, click stroke, and we're going to make it white. And then you just determine how, how heavy you want the stroke. The heavier the stroke, the better it's gonna cut like it'll have more room to make mistakes basically and then as you can see there's still some parts like right here that aren't filled in that I want fill in so I'm just gonna add another layer go underneath and uh, fill those in with the paintbrush tool so once you fill those stickers in I'm just gonna combine these two layers so that are so that they are one so basically just select the two images and then press merge layers so i'm going to do that with the rest of these stickers and then i'll check back up on you guys another quick trick i want to add to is sometimes the paint bucket for some reason does not fill it entirely you'll get these little gaps so if you put in a black background just for the time being you can see these gaps better also always make sure you're saving your progress okay so once you have each layer completed we're going to bring them on over to another document and so if you're using the Cricut you're going to want it these dimensions because this is the maximum print and cut size for a Cricut so then I'm just going to bring these layers over so I'm going to duplicate the layer and then put it in the file that we're currently working on Okay, so now they are over in this document, and I'm just going to size them accordingly. Obviously, there's the rulers off to the side, so maybe, like in real life, get a ruler and kind of estimate how big you want it. So I want each of them to be about two and a half inches tall. So now I'm going to put these along the page, and I want to make sure that I can get as many as I can on the page so I'm not wasting paper. So I'm just going to duplicate these, kind of rotate them and everything to try to get as many as I can on the page. And this is kind of obvious, but make sure that they're not touching each other. And again, if it helps, you can always make the background black. And that way you can see where these are a little easier. Okay, so this is what I have right now. And usually I try to get an equal amount of each sticker. But because these are less wide, I can kind of fit them in some extra space. And like I said, I want to utilize as much paper as I can just because it's expensive and I don't want to waste it. So now what we're going to do is take out the background and save this as a PNG. So all you have to do to make it a PNG is just click PNG and it will be one. Now we're going to open up the Cricut Design space. So now I opened a new project and I'm just going to upload that PNG. And I always click complex even if it doesn't seem that complex just because I want it to be more clear. And now if you didn't save it as PNG, you could always just erase it here, but it's easier if you don't have to do that. Save it as a print and cut. Okay, so now what we do is just position it in the corner and then we're gonna make it that six and three quarters by nine and one quarter. And make sure you're always saving your projects. So then we're gonna make it, you're gonna print it, you're gonna get rid of the bleed, and you're gonna make sure you pop up the system dialog. And then as it says, it might print behind the current window, so just close it. 
the paper will kind of tell you what to put. So for my Epson printer, I'm putting the presentation paper matte and quality. So something I forgot to mention in the beginning is when you get this sticker paper, um, the back of it and also the instructions will tell you what setting to put for what kind of printer. So that is why I'm putting the presentation paper matte. So. And then you can fix the color options if you want, um, but since it's black and white, I don't need to do that. And then you're just going to go ahead and print this. I talked about this in the other video, but one thing I don't like about Cricut is that I can't change the amount of copies right here. There's no way to do it to make it like, no way to make it like, print more than one at a time. So yeah, Cricut, please fix that. Okay, so I'm just gonna print all three that I plan on doing. And then I just set it to heavy watercolor paper to completely make sure that it cuts through. And then you're basically gonna go through the process of cutting, which I will show off. Okay guys, so now we are out on my back porch and I apologize for the absolutely terrible lighting. My God. Holy. It's the biggest beetle I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Anyways, make sure that when you are spraying your sticker sheets, you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm out on my back porch, like I said, and we have screens and stuff. Make sure you have a mask, which uh, you should. <laughs> and then also, if you're doing the Cricut print and cut, um, you should make something like this. Basically, I will put this around the black print and scan lines when I spray. That way it won't affect those black lines and the Cricut will still be able to read it. I used to just tape off those lines, but it's so much easier just to have something you can remove like real easily. But yeah, so basically I'm just going to spray the first coat. I'm probably going to wait maybe like 20 minutes in between and do like three coats. So if you're at this point and you're not sure if you have sprayed enough, what you can do is just get like a little dropper of water and drop it on like maybe a sticker you don't care about or maybe one that you have a lot of and just see if the ink bleeds. If it does, obviously you're gonna do a few more coats. If not, you're good to go. Okay guys, so now it's time to actually cut with the Cricut. We have printed out our sheet. And if you notice, mine looks a little different than when I printed it. I did hand metallic everything um, because my Patreons are just that special. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to tape this onto the corner. Um, normally the mat's supposed to be sticky, but I live with cats, so that's not gonna happen. So basically I'm just gonna tape the edges to the mat. So I tape the corners and then I also tape the middle, so eight pieces of tape total. That's just what works for me. And also I think I have a heavy duty blade in, so you might have to play around with like the thickness at which it cuts. So you can pause it when it starts cutting and seeing if it's um, on the right setting to cut it all the way through. And if at any point it starts to go kind of askew or something, I'll just press the pause button and maybe redo it. All right guys, so here is what the finished stickers look like. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that was somewhat informative and helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if this worked for you. Um, be sure to subscribe. I've been putting videos out every single Friday. Um, I think last week it was on Saturday, but I'm trying to make it every single Friday, so be sure to subscribe and like this video if it was helpful and if you enjoyed it. Alright, bye guys. And now it's time to thank my lovely patrons who support me as an artist and get some awesome rewards in return, like their names at the end of my videos, and other awesome rewards like these beetle stickers.